Hey, how's it going? I am Kyle Brown with Claw Hammer Supply, the most watched homebrew channel on YouTube now with 100,000 subscribers. We show you how easy it is to brew great beer at home so you can do the same thing. In this video, I'm going to review the prices of the most popular BIAB homebrew systems on the market. Now first, what is BIAB? That stands for brew in a bag, or in this case, brew in a basket. What it means is that these systems are single kettle. You can brew an entire batch of beer in just one kettle. This is a newer style of brewing. It's fast becoming the most popular style of brewing in the homebrew world. These systems are a lot smaller. They're easier to use. They're easier to clean. They're less expensive and you can brew beer that's just as good as any beer that you could brew on any other homebrew system. Um, this here is a Harvest Saison. It's beer that we just recently brewed here made with hops that we grew ourselves and um, rosemary that we grew as well. It's absolutely delicious. One last clarification is that I'm going to be trying to compare apples to apples here. I'm only looking at modular BIAB systems. These are systems where um, the parts can be uh, substituted. You can swap a pump out. You can increase the controller wattage from 120 volts to 240. You could increase the kettle size from 10 gallon to 20 gallon and not have to replace all of the other parts. They're more convenient if you're looking to get something that you're wanting to upgrade in the future. They're easier to repair. If you use your system enough, something is gonna fail at some point. So having a modular system is important because you'll just be able to swap that part out with a new part and move on. Uh, I'm gonna start by looking at 120 volt systems. These are systems that you can plug right into a wall uh, with a 10 gallon kettle. A 10 gallon um, kettle system could brew enough beer to fill a five gallon keg, which is what I have here. It's the most popular um, size of kegs for home brewers. The reason I'm doing this video, by the way, is that another homebrew channel, um, this is the Short Circuited Brewers channel uh, run by Brian, super cool dude, love his channel, check it out. He did a price review recently and I thought he left a couple things out. Still a great video, still worth looking at. With that in mind, uh, let's review the system. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the uh, screen capture here. If you haven't figured it out yet, this is, um, Clawhammer Supply's YouTube channel. I'm actually the owner of Clawhammer Supply. We've been in business for about 10 years. Obviously, I think Clawhammer is the coolest company out of all of these companies, um, but I'll tell you right off the top here, I think all of these systems are top quality systems um, that I'm looking at. I think all of these companies are great companies. I wouldn't hesitate to buy something from any of these companies or use um, any of these companies' uh, equipment. I haven't used it, um, but I think it all looks great to me. All right, and here's our system. Like I said, a single kettle, there's a basket for the grains, a, a silo for the hops, a pump, and a chiller, plus hoses to circulate uh, the, the liquid throughout the system, and a controller, which powers the element here. With these types of systems, you can dial in very specific temperatures that you want the liquid to be in the kettle. The controller will heat to those temps and, and dial it in perfectly, keeping it right there. That's important for making good beer because the temperature of your mash um, can affect that the final product, of course. And then when you're boiling, it just makes things easier. You dial in a specific temperature, you let it run, it boils, you don't have to babysit it like you would a propane system or something on your, your oven. All right, so um, our system, all of this stuff here included $999. This includes basically everything you would need to brew a beer minus a couple things you would need to ferment the beer, which is essentially just like a bucket or a small stainless um, fermenter. Um, and maybe a siphon, and then you would you could bottle from there, or you could put some um, the beer in a keg. Bottling, of course, um, probably the cheaper way to go, but the keg is more convenient. All right, let's move on to Brow Supplies, a Unibrow all-in-one electric system. 
a little bit of a, a different configuration from our system, um, but all the components are the same. So we have, again here, 10 gallon-ish uh, kettle. Ours is a 10 and a half gallon. This, they're probably all 10 gallons, just over 10 gallons. Um, here's their basket, a little bit different than ours. Um, their pump is built right into the side of the kettle there. Again, they have a plate chiller just like the Klarhammer system does, and here is their controller. Uh, 120 volt. So 10 gallons, 120 volt, 1199, but they do charge 40 or 50 dollars shipping. So let's call it 1250. Up next, we have Blickman's Brew Easy. Blickman is a company that's been around for a long time. Actually, let me back up real quick. Brow Supply is one of the earlier companies, I believe, who got into um, single kettle brewing. I may be wrong about that, but I believe so. Um, and Blickman is just a company that's been around forever. They have just, I mean, as long as I've been humbering, Blickman's been a thing. So um, the Blickman system is brand new. It's called the Brew Easy Compact. Again, very similar to our system. The only, and the Spike system, no, I'm sorry, the Unibrow system. The difference here is this looks to be a sight glass, and I think this may be a sight glass here as well. Um, when we were designing our system and using early prototypes of our system, we had a sight glass included. We were planning on potentially releasing the system with a sight glass. As we used it though, we discovered that we didn't use it. Um, it wasn't necessary. It was just another thing on the kettle that you had to maintain and clean and not break. They're made, you know, they're made of glass. Uh, when you can just pop the lid off something and look inside and see the volume markers on the side and tell what kind of volume you have going on there, I feel like it's just something that's not necessary. So at the end of the day, we didn't include one. You may have different thoughts on that, but I'll just point that out. This system has a sight glass on it. To be honest and fair here, I will note that they're, they have what looks to be a 40 plate, um, plate chiller. Ours is a 20 plate plate chiller. Um, so <clears throat> their chiller probably will work a little bit faster than ours, but honestly the chiller, the chilling part of the brew day is like the fastest part. You're typically also getting your, you know, stuff sanitized and you're doing other stuff during that period anyway. So I just don't think, I feel like that's way overkill for 10 gallons, but hey, it's a nice chiller. I'll say that. So with a, with a pump and a chiller added, uh, the total on this system comes to 1582, I believe with free shipping. All right, and then the last uh, system we'll look at here in this category is the Spike Solo, 10 gallon, 120 volts. Um, probably the most similar looking system to ours as far as the layout goes. This system, I will say, does have an extra port here on the side, um, and they all have, um, as opposed to how the claw hammer system has uh, a lid with um, the fitting, uh, I guess, a recirculation port that comes down from the top. That's the bottom of the lid of the claw hammer system. Um, I believe the unibrow. I'm not sure. Yeah, the, the Unibrow, the Brew Easy, and the Spike also have all have fittings on the side. That's probably so you can whirlpool. Um, which we should just do a whole video about this. But whirlpooling is where you have liquid that comes in from the side of the kettle and kind of circulates around the kettle. You know, there's a lot of confusion out there about what a whirlpool actually means. It's really just a period of time where you let the hops kind of sit in the kettle a little bit longer after, um, after you turn the heat off. What people think is going to happen is that um, at the end of the boil, you're going to do a whirlpool and all your hop debris is going to magically collect in the center and then you're going to drain the kettle from the side on the bottom and you're not going to get any of the troop that's, that's left over. Um, and in reality, that's just not how it works. If you have an element that's in there and you have probably a little like bazooka screen to filter stuff out, that stuff causes turbulence and it just... It, it just doesn't work. People, it's something that people think they need that they just really don't. I've talked to a lot of other brewers about this, including brewers who have their own YouTube channels and we're all kind of on the same page, but you can still whirlpool in any kettle uh, without a fitting on the side. 
Anyway, I do want to point that out because it is a difference. So the spike system, 120 volt, 10 gallon, 2125, coming in quite a bit more expensive than the rest of these systems. So to recap, 10 gallons, 120 volts, Clawhammer supply, 999 with free shipping, Unibrow, 1250, uh, including the shipping, Blickman Brew Easy, 1582 with free shipping, and the Spike Solo, 2125 with free shipping. Some of you at this point are probably going to be wondering why I didn't mention the Anvil Foundry and um, the Grainfather. There are definite advantages uh, of modular systems over non-modular systems like those other two. And they're just not the same. So that's why we're only looking at these systems. All right, so I'm gonna move on now to 10 gallon, 240 volt system. So again, 10 gallon system makes enough to fill a five gallon keg, but the controller now is 240 volts. Um, enough juice there to power a 5,500 watt element, almost three times the power of the element in a 120 system. This means you are going to be um, heating up to mash temp faster. You're going, to heat, you're going to be heating up to boil faster, and the boil is going to be more vigorous in these systems. Not necessary. Um, you, the, the quality of the beer is going to be just the same as it is on a 120, but you're going to be able to do things a little bit faster. Here is our system, 10 gallon, 240. Everything, like I said, is exactly the same as the 120, except the controller is different and the element is different. So if you were to get the 120 at one point and say, hey, you know what, I think I need a little bit more power. I want to speed my brew day up a little bit. You get a new controller, you get a new element, and everything else is the same, you're good to go. So um, this system, if you were to just go straight for the 10 gallon 240, 1599, that's including free shipping. All right, let's move on to the Unibrow. 20 gallon, uh, I'm sorry, 10 gallon 240 plus their um, $50 shipping. So 1625. Yeah, everything pretty much the same as the other system. The control is a little bit different, the element's gonna be different. All right, Blickrin's Brew Easy Compact. Again, upgrading the controller to the 240 is going to bring the total price up to 1687 and then the spike solo for some reason the price i don't think changes between the 120 and the 240 i could be wrong on this um yeah but that's what it is i mean this is what's this is what their website says spike solo system with the 240 volt controller is 2125. So to recap that 10 gallon 240 volt system prices claw hammer supply 1599 unibrow 1625 blickman 1687 and spike 2125. And the last thing I'm going to look at is going to be a 20 gallon system with a 240 volt controller capable of brewing 10 full gallons of beer. So you in one batch, you can fill up two of these kegs. You cannot use a 120 volt controller, a smaller controller that plugs into a standard household outlet with the 20 gallon system. You have to use a 240 volt controller to um, brew 10 full gallons of beer in a single uh, batch. So um, this is the claw hammer supply system. It looks, it's almost exactly the same as our 10 gallon system, except we include an extra hop silo in the system. More beer means, uh, you know, twice the amount of um, wort means twice the amount of hops you're probably going to want to add. So you, this one comes with two. Um, our price on our system is 1869 with free shipping. Unibrow's uh, 20 gallon system, very similar to their 10 gallon system, at least the picture is, maybe the picture hasn't, yeah, the picture is different. Um, $17.99, this actually is a pre-order now. So they are not ready to be sold yet. It says the automatic discount of 150 bucks will be applied. All right, so 
to make this fair, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to just go ahead and add this 150. Blickman doesn't have a, a, a compact system that is 20 gallons, at least not yet. They're, the closest thing they have to this is the Brew Easy Classic, which is kind of like a two kettle system, but it, they're, they're permanently, or I don't know, they're attached, I guess. Um, 20 gallon, so presumably you could brew, I believe it says here, I read in the, the description, you can brew 10 gallons of finished um, beer with this system, 240 volts. 2512. I think the shipping is free on this. And then the Spike Solo 20 gallon, 240 volt, 2325. All right, one last recap Clawhammer Supply 1869, Unibrow 1848, Blickman 2512, and Spike 2325. With that said, if you want to learn more about how to brew, click on one of these videos or playlists. We've brewed over 75 recipes and filmed. Put them on our YouTube channel. You can check those out. We have well over 100 videos on how to brew beer. If you want to learn how to brew great beer at home, watch some of these videos. Check them out. Thanks for watching.